From the wheat field to the brewery, not for a cold one, but for sunups at Barron to show us the alternative uses for spent brewer's grain. We've started in 2015, just celebrated our fourth anniversary. We basically like to take um, quality ingredients and produce uh, quality beer that, that people enjoy drinking. We extract sugars from the grain, we steep it like a tea, and we try to pull as many sugars as we possibly can. Um, from there, we, we basically sift it through a colander to separate the liquid, which is then called wort, and that goes into our boil kettle. And what's left over is what we call spent grain, which is essentially all those, those grain particles that are left over. It's estimated that about 40 million tons of this waste is generated every year, and we don't really have any great uses for it at this point. Um, for many years it was landfilled. Now a lot of it is used as animal feed. We actually got samples from Iron Monk right here in Stillwater of the spent grain. So we want to make higher value products from typical waste streams in the food industry. And this is, a, this is a known pretty large source of food waste that is really underutilized. So uh, we've been um, making potential snack products using brewer spent grain. Um, so far we've come up with three potential products. Um, which we thought was a great idea. It goes in line with, with what we do anyway. Um, so they just contacted us, asked if we'd be willing to, to offer them some samples of our spent grain. We of course said yes. I mean, we try to do as much with the university as we can. Um, I'm an OSU grad. Uh, we've got a couple other OSU alumni on, the, on staff here, so anytime we can help the university, we can. They taste very grainy, but would go good with a beer and in the form of a cracker, but really not too bad. They taste pretty good. Um, at first, um, without any seasoning on it, it tastes a little malty, but um, after playing with the formulations a bit, we were able to come together on um, something that, that sort of accentuates the malty, kind of bitter, sometimes chocolatey flavor. We eat spent grain all the time. Um, our brewer Sam actually likes to eat the dog treats that we sell. Uh, it tastes just like bland oatmeal, kind of. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's a pretty good product and we do, we eat it, we eat it pretty much all the time. The reason for choosing a cracker type of product is the brewer spent grain actually has a fair amount of fiber. Um, lots of protein and minerals also. And a cracker can really hide that that crunchy texture that you're going to find in a high fiber product. I mean, there's still a lot of a lot of enzymes in that that grain that are still good um, and useful. Um, so, so with us, it's a matter of of twofold. One, just from an environmental and, a, and just a conscientious human being standpoint, we want to be able to to do better and and to limit our waste a little bit. And then, from a small business standpoint, if we can somehow create something that we can we can market and, and sell or, or just you know create an extra revenue stream for us out of a product that would otherwise go in the garbage you know then just kudos to us you know I mean it, it's just it's all about just trying to maximize the dollars that we can get out of the ingredients that we use as well as just limiting our, our carbon footprint and, and making less of an, a harmful impact on the world. You get the added nutritional benefits but still a product that is very palatable for people. We value the science and, and what it brings to the table aside from just beer. Um, so yeah, we're always excited and happy to be a part of any, anything that brings like change. <laughs>